Lewis dot symbols, atoms, and monatomic ions. So a Lewis dot symbol consists of the symbol of an element and one dot for each valence electron in an atom of that element. So let's take, for example, hydrogen. Hydrogen has an atomic symbol of H, and to write the Lewis dot symbol, we would write a dot like this. You could write it on the top, you could write it on the left, like this, but it represents that hydrogen only has one valence electron. And this is important because this can show relationships between bonding of different elements or transfers of electrons from one element to another. So when we form ions, let's say monatomic ions, when we form H+, plus, we would write H like this with a plus on the side to, to indicate that, they, that H has lost an electron. So this could happen with HE. We can, so HE, even though it is happy with what it has, so it's not going to be an ion, but this shows, this shows, HE shows you that every atom, every element that has two valence electrons is going to have a symbol similar to this. It's going to have the symbol with two dots next to it. And the symbol for boron, let's say, with three valence electrons is like this. So you can find out how many valence electrons an atom has by looking at the periodic table and seeing what group each element is in. So boron is in group 3A, so that means it has three valence electrons, and so that's why I would write three dots around B to show that it has three valence electrons. HE is not in group 2A, but it has only two valence electrons. It can only fit two. So let's find another example. Let's see, um, BE is a good example of two valence electrons, and this is also in group 2A. HE is an exception because it's in group 8A. But every other, every other element makes sense that this is 1A, so it has only one valence electron. So HE being the only exception, all of the other ones are easy to find. So 4A becomes, let's say carbon as an example, one, two, three, four valence electrons. 5A, let's take N as an example. I'm just using the elements from the first group, uh, from the first in the group. So this is five valence electrons. 6A has, as you can tell, probably six valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then 7A, we know that that has seven valence electrons, so F, we can use that as an example. And finally, 8A, which is like neon, and it has eight valence electrons, so it's very happy, and it's probably not gonna form ions. But for these, when you add that extra electron that it wants to fill up its octet, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is the base. If you add another electron, what you have to do is make sure that, like when I put a positive here to indicate that H had lost an electron, I'm gonna put a negative here to indicate that F has gained that valence electron. So this is the Lewis dot symbol for an ion. This is a Lewis dot symbol for, this is a Lewis dot symbol for just an element so that it shows you the difference that it's added one, it's added one electron, so it's an anion, and here it has lost an electron, so I put a positive, so it's a cation, and here are the three different types of symbols for a cation, a an anion, and a regular element.